culture and today we're taking you to a place where pension age pom-pom girls, the children of Transylvania and a fair few nudes are rubbing shoulders, photographically speaking. They all feature in a European festival of young photographic talent being hosted right here in Paris. Catherine Nicholson has been to meet some of the people behind the lens to discover their vision of the world. <laughs> These historic buildings used to house the City of Paris Municipal Funeral Services, but since 2008 they've become a centre for contemporary and experimental art known as the Son Quatre. Currently it's home to a temporary festival of young European photographic talent, the Circulation Festival. Let's show you around. <laughs> The subject matter is diverse, showing the world from angles you're unlikely to have experienced firsthand. Objects washed up on the shores of Lampedusa Island after immigrant boat disasters, working class residents of Northern Ireland, even the Czech Republic's porn industry. To tell us more, let's meet the festival's president. So what were your criteria for choosing the photos that we see here? Well, we look at several aspects, so we pay a lot of attention to the scenery of the photo, portraits, if it's in black and white, colour, old techniques too. So there's a lot of diversity in our selection. And would you say that the festival acts as a springboard for young photographers wanting to further their careers? The idea is to encourage as much of the public and as many professionals to come as possible so these photographers get noticed because what helps artists the most is to have their work in exhibitions. There are lots of festivals that scout for young talent here. To inspire the younger generation, there are also works by special guests, already established names behind the lens. And one of the invited artists is British-based Todd Anthony. Hi there. Hi there, how are you? Very nice to meet you. Um, really enjoying looking at your photos. Can you tell us who are these ladies? These are the Sun City Poms. They're a, a group of uh, retirees that uh, run a cheerleading group uh, in Sun City in Arizona. Uh, the youngest is 55 and the eldest is uh, 83 years of age. And why do these ladies make a good subject for photography for you? Uh, for me, it's the, the vibrancy of them and the uh, sort of incongruous nature of the fact that we're not used to seeing uh, retired people uh, dressing up as, uh, as cheerleaders and uh, also the, uh, the environment that they live in. Sun City is a very uh, manicured, very sort of Tim Burton-esque uh, environment. And this whole festival is all about young up-and-coming photographers. What advice would you give? Get your camera, go out, shoot, 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 basically, yeah. And through doing that, you'll, uh, your eye will improve, your uh, ability to tell stories will improve. And uh, yeah, just you'll progress over time. It's, a, it's definitely a, a long game. I think you have to play with photography. Right, say cheese. What do you think? Mm, let me try. OK. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not quite up to the standard here, but if you want to come and see some real photographic talent, this festival is open until March 16th, then it's set to travel all across Europe. A nice photo of Catherine Nicholson there. You're watching Live from Paris. It's time now for our daily sports roundup. Holders Bayern Munich 